Welcome to my channel. This video is for Mini Mum Backer. Please consider joining my YouTube family by subscribing and don't forget to tap that bell for notifications on my uploads and live streams. First I have some ribbons cut at 5 inches in length. If you're doing a full size mum you'll want to do 6 inch length and a bigger size backer. Okay so I have got this wide red acetate. It's about two and a half inches width. Here is a navy that's 1.3 inch width. And then I also have a silver. This is Barrick Offre Sparkling, I believe it's pronounced, and it's two and a half inch width, and you'll see me using it as well. So I'm just layering these two ribbons. And you see I'm not layering them in the middle, I'm layering them off to the side. <coughs> You want to make sure that you are matching these up though, especially if you're doing a loop chain, you want to make sure that they're identical, but I like to compare them and try to get them as close together or close as the same as possible. So you just have to hold them up together and see if you're doing it correctly. Now this is a neat little uh, tip or trick that I have learned recently that I came up with. You just take a smaller spool of ribbon, put it in the center of your backer, draw a circle and whatever, ink, pencil, whatever. And this will just give you a easy guide on where to attach your loops because you don't just need to worry about them being even and straight. You want to attach them evenly on the distance like on the backer, like how much you're putting the loop, stapling it on. So whether you're stapling uh, a half an inch or a fourth of an inch, you could measure them out, I guess. But this circle, it will give you a guide if you just see where you're attaching them on that circle you drew. And then you'll know on each one how to draw or how to staple it on there. It'll just give you a guide because if you do staple one like more uh, in, on the backer than another one, it's going to look funny. So you can also flip it over and kind of see the distance, how the loops are hanging off the backer, how much distance they are hanging off, and that'll give you another uh, tip too, like if you've got them too far off or too far in. But doing that spool of ribbon really, really helps, really save me a lot of time. So here is, and I forgot to show you the backer size, it's just a little less than five inches in diameter. And I'm, I'm going to be using about a five, five and a half inch flower on this as well. So I, when I do my loops, when I do four loops, I always attach them in a north, south, east, and west fashion. So I go north, south, and then east and west. And so I only did the two layered ones, and the, now I'm doing the two silver just to kind of change it up. And that's a nice way to add some sparkle. That ribbon is uh, I got from Amazon and I should have that on my Amazon shop under ribbons or homecoming mum supplies so check on either one of those if you want to see that and it'll be the exact same one that I purchased so now I'm doing some smaller loops that's a 7 8 and then I believe that's a 5 8 on top of it and I am angling them I'm not layering them in the center I'm angling that red ribbon on it so it gives it a cute little angle there it just changes up the looks of the loops gives it a more updated look and when you attach these in between the other loops you just want to evenly attach them between those two big loops just look at the space between the right side and the left side of those loops you're attaching and just make sure it's evened out and then also again you want to make sure you're attaching them evenly uh, on the backer so however much distance on or off the backer you want to make sure that's pretty much the same too so kind of keep an eye on that and then just work your way all the way around and as long as your backer is covered you can quit there and as long as your flower covers up all the staples you can quit or you can uh, add more layers and more fun stuff I'm going to do more fun stuff but first I'm going to layer these glitter ribbons on top of the acetate ribbons so it's real easy just to add some hot glue and glue these on there I like to start from the back and just go right under that backer or right at the backer is fine and then just wrap it around and cut it off at the length you need this actually you can actually do this beforehand when you're making the loops but if you do it this way it actually saves you a little bit of ribbon because you don't use as much ribbon you don't use as much length. So just glue that on and try to match all those up. 
I'm going to do silver on both of those, both of those loops that are matching so they all match. So really quickly show you, you want to try to match this up. I actually had to cut that off and reattach it because I had it over too far. So I want them to be pretty matchy matchy on where they're at on the blue ribbon. Let's see how cute that is. So then that, you know, I had the silver off on the east and west side, so it needed some silver in the middle to kind of even that silver out on the backer. So now I added red on top of those, some red glitter. And I'm going to do all four of those loops with the red glitter. And this is just an easy way to add some sparkle, some glitter ribbon. And these glitter ribbons are all from Dollar Tree. So that was very inexpensive, inexpensive way to add some bling. Now I've got this cute tinsel and it's got hearts on it. I got this at Valentine's Day, I believe, at Hobby Lobby. I'm not 100%. It may have been Dollar Tree. I, can't, I actually can't remember. It was one of those two places. But it, again, it was at Valentine's Day, so it's not something that's available right now. It's one of those things you have to buy during the season and just save it. And I'm just kind of moving it around on the backer to see where I like it because I'm not going to attach them everywhere. And this is a nice filler. It's another way to add some sparkle and something fun to your backer. So I'm going to go on the opposite side as well. And the reason why I twist those up, it just makes them look better. If you twist them all together, it makes them look fuller and better. So now I'm going to move on to some tubing. And at first, I'm just going to make some loops, and I'm just holding it to the backer to see how big I need to make my loops. And I'll use that first loop as a guide. Then I'm going to make three loops. You can do as many loops as you want. This is just another fun, unique thing to do. I see more and more people adding, uh, <coughs> adding tubing to their backers, and I love it. I love seeing that. I love seeing, you know, the different ways people add it. So I'm just looking for a little piece of a Chanel stem. The Chanel stem is not going to show, so it doesn't matter what color you use. So you can just take a little piece of a Chanel stem and wrap it very tightly around there, and that'll hold it in place. And then you can staple it on. You guys, if you've watched my other ones, you see that sometimes I'll form them and then try to staple them on, but you can lose the loops. It's a lot easier to do it this way, to pre-make those loops and then staple it on. But sometimes I just staple them as I go. It's just whatever mood I'm in, really. But this is a better, an easier way for you in the long, ra long run. I'm sorry. So I just want to give that a good two staples at least, and then I will go over it with a little hot glue later. I don't know if I show that or not, but I will put some hot glue right where that Chanel stem was just to give it a, a little extra security on the backer. And you see how fun that is, how cute it is. It just really changes up the looks of your backer. You may not like these unique looks. You might want just more classic looks, so just skip the tinsel and the tubing then if you like the cl more classic look. Now I'm running a Chanel stem inside the tubing and leaving at least an inch there on one end, inch, inch, inch and a half. And then I'm going to start at that end and start twirling it down, just making a spiral out of it. And I like to make sure the tubing is going over the Chanel stem where I'm twirling it, where you begin. And then just keep rolling and rolling until you get almost to the end. And I'm going to do a little something different. You guys have probably seen this, but normally I attach these flat, like that or like that. But on this one, I moved it so it is sticking up. So the little swirl is sticking up. I don't think I've done that before. So just changing the position of it will give it a different look. So it's real easy to give these backers completely different looks just by changing up one little thing. And there it is. Isn't that cute? So now I'm going to do another one on the opposite side, of course, because that's the pattern I've been going, doing doing these in twos. So this is my second layer of stuff. You, like I said, you could do a second layer of loops if you wanted to. 
Thanks so much for watching everyone. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, share, comment, like. Please be kind with your comments. Please be kind to others and happy mum making everyone.